I am 42. I am living in a small little town just on the border of Windsor, so you might know it. And I'm well and truly into my midlife crisis. She might be able to tell why it's Jackie. <laughs> a couple other clues about that midlife crisis of mine. I have started going on holidays, um, cruising. A few cruises. Have you been on a cruise? Yeah. Highly recommend it. Nothing else you get to wear a jacket just like this. <laughs> <laughs> I've also started a little bit of a, a little, I'm going to call it an obsession, the middle aisle. Anyone? Yeah. Take a trip to Lidl, down the middle aisle, every single power tool that you don't know how to use. <laughs> they sell it, so I've bought it. <laughs> and I was going to buy myself a SUV, you know, the midlife crisis staple. If you can't afford the convertible sports car, you need to go for an SUV, right? Chelsea Tractor, here I come. Counted out the pennies. Couldn't afford it. I've got a slough plough. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the point I have to admit. I live in slough. <laughs> Not many people would do that for lots of good reasons. Um, how do I best describe Slough for those that don't know it? Apart from it being, by the way, the fourth worst place to live in the UK. It's a little bit like saying you own a Skoda. Not as bad as it used to be, but it's always going to be considered a bit shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that was a joke, but it's really true. It's that bad. Uh, so, a little bit about me. I um, have what I've sort of come to describe as a bit of a disproportionate head. So I'm going to turn this way, and you can tell me whether or not you agree. I think I'm the template now for the new coins, or if I turn this way, stamps for King Charles. I most definitely got the ears, most definitely got the nose, and I have most definitely got that high hairline that both Prince Charles, or King Charles now these days, right? And William have. Like It's, it's hidden, but it's, it's there. I get that hairline from my dad and my hairy legs from my mum. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Any for a cheap laugh, right? Um, so, my dad and his wonderful hair that he's like tried over the years to keep in place, he would use hairspray. So every day before he would leave the house without fail. <laughs> that hair was not moving for love nor money. But for some reason, he would keep that hairspray right next to all of our cleaning products. So on more than one occasion, he would leave the house smelling a little bit like French polish. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't find it funny either, but I thought it was quite entertaining. Um, so I will tell you a bit. Um, so last year, got married. <laughs> Busy year for weddings last year, obviously. Um, and the good thing about being married is, I guess, my circle of friends has increased just that little bit bigger than it was before. Uh, obviously, that gets a little bit more expensive at the times of birthday, so, so recently we bought a friend of ours an electric toothbrush. So she's had it you know, a little while, a couple of weeks maybe. She has not worked out how to put the brush head on top of the toothbrush, but she says she's been using it that whole time and she has not stopped smiling. Ah. <laughs> 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 Half a ding, fair enough, I'll take that. Um, okay, uh, the cruising jacket, this wonderful, colourful little array you see in front of you. Um, in the last year or so, I've been on four cruises. Wow. Nice. Obviously, getting paid too much. Um, <laughs> but we have not seen a single iceberg on any of those cruises. But they needed anyone on the Titanic, I guess. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh. um, but one of the thing, interesting things I did see last year. Got a minute left? Oh, a minute. Okay, I'll wrap up on this one. I think it probably gets the time. Has anyone been to Amsterdam? Yeah. 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 Excellent. Anyone away from the red light district, away from the canals, take a walk around the streets? No. Have you seen the Comedon Maria? <laughs> No one? No. Okay, well, down the back streets of Amsterdam, take a look, it's worth a walk. There is a Condor Maria, a small shop that sells nothing but condoms. Different shapes, different sizes, different colours. And there's one that caught my eye, if you like, um, and that was a vegan condom. <laughs> That's not in the punchline, I've got to laugh, I'll take that. Vegan condom. And I was a bit confused by this, so the question I'm going to leave you with, and I'm going to head back that way. Can a vegan condom ever be 100% meat-free? 
Thank you for bringing me that on, bring me back on to that conundrum. Uh, where I've been